Big return to German lineup with JDC and Searson. They literally... <laughs> oh, bro. <laughs> you know what's crazy? I think it's a good move. <laughs> That's the worst fucking part. I do think for Mantu, he gets the short end of the stick here. He he started playing a lot better towards the end too. Like, not that he's bad, just felt like he was playing really strong for big. It always seemed a little weird going away. Like, okay, so they plateaued, right, with Searson and JDC. Searson struggles on land versus online. All good, doesn't matter. JDC is like super up and down. But at the end of the day, like the non-full German big roster i definitely think is worse than this roster mantu i feel bad for sin was just not it i don't know they were talking about how they were gonna bring him in he's gonna call a little bit and then he just didn't he was just kind of a liability on the server i will say process over Favin could be a difference maker for the team i do think process actually has a higher ceiling than what Favin was showing Favin looked great when he first joined the team but he quickly like just dwindled away a bit JC's never been on big. Sorry, I'm thinking of when he was on Mouse, but I'm just talking about like when Searson was back on this roster, I feel like they were Dece. Why didn't they sign JDC actually? I wonder if it was like a contract issue. Why did I think he was on big? I guess just because German CS player, I assumed he was on the team at one point. Who was the oh that's right? He went to Zero Zero Nation. Holy f dude, I completely forgot that they even have a team. Holy shit, that's right. They're both on there. <laughs> oh my god. Bro, I I literally forgot this team existed. Oh my god, I I I feel bad for saying that. But holy shit, I just I forgot this team existed. How many maps did they even play? I'll say they lost to Endpoint in the RMR, Sync in the RMR, Ikla. So they got balanced pretty early on out of the tournaments, it seems. Lost to Anonymo, lost to Eyeballers. I mean, they've been just kind of yeah, they just kind of lost a lot. They beat Sprout, looks like. Lost a big. No, I, that was my bad for saying JDC was on mouse or on, on big. It's weird because I knew he was on mouse. I don't know why I got that all flip flopped in my head. Who was it? It was Favin, Searson, Tizian, and Keto. And they were doing that. God, they were doing that whole uh, musical chairs with the final spot. Anyway, yeah, this, this roster is definitely better than what they were just rocking. <laughs> JDC is really inconsistent, though. I do remember that from his time on Mouse. I didn't see him on Zero Zero Nation. Because JDC is going to entry. He's like a hard entry. That's going to allow Tapson to entry more when he wants to. Should give Prosis some space as well. There's one thing. The, the strongest trait that JDC has is that man will just go for it. He's on Mouse Academy, I'm pretty sure. Was, no, he was actually on Mouse. Yeah, see? For a while. Overall, I think it's a good sign for Big. Their 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 roster is not it. They missed Blast. They missed Katowice. They missed they missed the major. They they missed everything, bro. Like the, that roster is not it. I think Sin was the biggest liability, and then everybody switching to English communication for Mantu is just not. It never works. It just never works. Not trying to be too extra. Just every time I've seen four players switch for one player, it usually doesn't work long term. And I would apply this, even with the recent success, to Ents. I think the only plus side to, like, the Ents set setup is it's fucking Glaive. And that could be why it's more the exception rather than the rule right there. But as an NA fan that saw Junior, where everybody tried to switch to English for Junior on Fury, I was just like, every time I see it, it kind of it's just like a bit of a head scratcher. Hopefully Big can get their head out of their ass and we see them in the next major and we see them in Cologne because I just think it's not that I hate international rosters, but it's really fun to have regional teams still. It creates really easy narratives. It's a little bit more fun to get behind, in my opinion. I just feel like we have very, very, very few regional teams now. I mean, think like a great example would be like NIP. You know, you know, seeing orgs like NIP just like not be Swedish, stuff like that. It's just like, I mean, at least you got Astralis, but oh well, maybe, maybe we won't talk about Astralis. Guess we got Furia, kind of. The national pride was awesome to see. I just, like I said, it just creates very easy narratives to build around and it's fun.